A late breaking story is just coming my way, Mayor. I've got to call you back, okay? Bye. Julian, am I mistaken, or were we going to get together at your place later tonight? You were in on it right from the beginning, weren't you? In on what? Now I know why you wanted to take me to Europe. It wasn't for the sightseeing, for the candlelit dinners for two, or for the bedroom acrobatics afterwards. It was just because you wanted to get me out of the way. I thought that you wanted to make me happy, but you just wanted to keep me in the dark. That's not true. I'm see? afraid of the dark. You knew that. How could you betray me this way? Inspiring me. Neither did you. Kelly! Uh, hi, Ian. What did you get here? Oh, well, you just walked in the door. Hello, Ian. I'm going to go take it upstairs. So you haven't seen my mother then? No, like I said, we just walked in. What is wrong? She just walked in on a hypnotic session with Addie. She went ballistic. Oh, my gosh. Hey! I don't think she's here. What's going on? A lot of misguided meddling. That doesn't help, Blair! Now, my mother is out of control. I don't know where in God's name she is or what she might be doing. Dorian, there was no betrayal. There was monstrous betrayal. And you enlisted my entire family in it. My daughter, my nieces, girls I have spent a lifetime trying to protect. My poor, sick sisters, you got all of them to betray me. Cassie and Blair and Kelly were simply trying to understand you and their own heritage. Mel, they wouldn't have given a damn if you hadn't set them on it. We were functioning as a family. We may not have been the family of your dreams, but we were together. I thought of that. And when it came to them, you were incredibly strong. Condescend to me. You had the audacity to romance me all over Italy, and all the while you only wanted to keep me away so that they could go rowdy into the deep dark family secrets. What were you planning to do? Publish them on the front page of this rag? Oh, that's absurd. Nothing like that was going to happen. Mel, I, I think maybe you should take Dorian home so you can continue this discussion. Let's take this home. Oh, so now, now, now. You have secrets, Mel. Well, I am planning to shout what you've done from the house. Stop. Dorian, if you have any sense at all, you will stop. Right now. I mean this. Mel loves you. Everything he has done has been out of support and compassion for you. I'll be damned if I know why. Your behavior does not warrant it. If you want to continue this little tantrum, you go right ahead, but take it out of my city room. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. After everything Mel has done for me, Vicky, what do you know? about what Mel has done for me. What I know is that everyone who loves you has been very worried about you, and with very good reason if this behavior is any indication. Excuse me, Vicky, if I do not wish to be analyzed by Landview's own poster girl for mental stability. All right, all right, Dorian, that's enough. If you're going to be angry at me, be angry at me, but just leave Vicky out of this. I would love to leave Vicky out of my life entirely. What have you, Mel? Have you made your betrayal complete by sharing your vile suspicions with the one person guaranteed to take the purest pleasure out of my suffering? That's completely <laughs> untrue, Dorian. Do you have any idea how paranoid you are sounding? Paranoid? Vicky, I am talking from personal experience, and if you don't remember what I'm talking about, I suggest that you ask one of your other... All right, Jeannie. all right, that's it, <laughs> that's it. We're out of here. I'm sorry, Mel? Vicky. Oh, come on, what happened to your devotion to the truth, hmm? Welcome back, Mel. I called the band to see if Mel had heard from my mother. And uh, this reporter told me that uh, she had shown up, made a lot of noise, and they left together. Well, good, his father would bring her over here now. Yeah, I'm sure he is. And I'm glad that we're all together, because I think it's time that we lay it out for her. Wow. Well, what is she doing at St. Anne's? Oh, God knows. But my mother has this uncanny knack of always showing up at the worst possible time. Well, I'll tell you what, I hate it. I hate all of this mess. You know, Blair, this is not only for you. This is for all of us. And for our children. Dory. Well, hello, Kathy. Kelly? Yeah. Okay, what happens next? Somebody crack open my skull and examine the contents? No. But it's good that we're all here. We? Yes, we. The people that love you are all here together, and that's a good thing. Because this is it. It's time for the truth. One, two, 
you ever see it, and I'll fix you a nice cup of hot tea. Hey, too, Blair. I thought you were on my side. Look, I am. I swear to you, Dorian. I didn't want to get involved in all of this mess, but so much has come to light, and frankly, it scares me. Come to light? Spontaneous? Mother, we're all on your side. We are. Look, if secrets are exhausting, they make you sick. Look at my mother. I did everything I could to protect Melinda. We know that. Okay? Now we need for you to listen. Listen to what? More bizarre allegations? Well, sometimes the bizarre happens to be the truth. You did withhold my mother's medication. Admit it. That was and is a heinous accusation. You have no proof. Oh, I have proof. Right, hold don't on. tell me hold that on. I don't hold have on. proof. Hold on. If we turn this into an argument, it's going to get us nowhere. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Just sit silently by and take my medicine? Yes, if your medicine means truth and understanding, yes. That's what we all need. Speak for yourself. No, we need each other. No. I am alone in this. I have never felt more alone in my entire life. Doreen, you have to believe that everything that is done here is done out of love. A very strange kind of love. However strange. But can you just listen for a minute? <laughs> well, I really don't seem to have much choice, do I? Excuse me. Okay. Go on. We learned from Melinda that you involved her in a strange game. You pretended to torment her when in fact you hadn't, and then you take the punishment that was meted out, either by your parents or by Miss Dunkley. My mother told Ian and me something else this last visit, that you almost crushed her fingers at the piano. But first, you warned her in a whisper to pull them away. And you were tormented yourself by your sister, Addie. And this was the real thing. She attacked you with a pair of scissors and locked you away in a, in a well house for hours at a time. Addie told us today that it was your mother that directed her to hurt you. And it was your mother who said you deserved it because of what you had done to her teacher. Teacher? What teacher? 